Alright, so welcome to the video showing you the 3D Scanomatic. Uh, and the, this is a promo video to for the sale of the 3D Scanomatic. It is finally ready to sell. Okay? Now I'm not going to be assembling these at home. I'm going to do, as always, sell you information. Okay? So what I've done is I've created videos. Uh, I've still put together a document showing where to get the materials to build one. I've given you the board file so you can purchase it and put it all together in order to do amazing photogrammetry at home. Okay, so you're, if you're into photogrammetry, this is a very powerful unit. Okay, so what it does is it has an IR sensor, okay, point this at any Sony Nikon camera. If you do not have a Sony or Nikon camera and you want to use your phone, it also has Bluetooth, so it allows you to hook it up to your phone if you have an Android phone, okay. It rotates a stepper motor. It could be any size stepper motor, so this is a really tiny one but um, you can use, uh, in the bill of materials, I recommend one that's a, uh, a NEMA 23. And the reason I like that stepper motor is the one I use, and it rotates really big objects. Like, you can rotate a huge cow skull with it, no problem whatsoever. Or you can just rotate something really small with it, no problem whatsoever. So I would almost suggest getting that NEMA 23 stepper because it's so versatile, okay? When you set this up uh, or you have this in your house, you would have uh, the, the ideal setting is a big black tub, okay? You can get those at any Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. And you have fluorescent lighting, okay? So I have these fluorescent lightings up here and they are rather big. You see them? That by far is the best setup. You can also use LED lighting, but when you use LED, sometimes the frequency of the LED itself will show up in your scans if you're using your phone. So if you are using your phone, I would highly suggest fluorescent lighting. If you're using like a Sony or a Nikon camera, you can get away with LED lighting. I don't like the shadows though. Uh, so that's why I don't use it. So what this will do, it, it will rotate the object at a certain degree and then trigger the camera. Now the key is the resting timing. Okay, so let's say it was a plant, it was rotating and it needed a couple seconds to settle before it takes a picture. So you have control over that code and how to like put that onto the um, device. You're also looking at the exposure time. So sometimes if you don't have the right fluorescence, you might need longer exposure time. So there's only two things you need to change in the code and I show you how to do that uh, in the instructions. So it'll take a bunch of pictures and those pictures are what you're going to be using in your like photogrammetry software. Cool. So you still have to like, you know, take pictures from one angle to the next, but at least you can go walk around, do other things, and it's a very fine increment of rotation. All right. So, I mentioned the three cameras, Sony, Nikon, and uh, Android phones. Okay, it's very important. Later on, I might uh, develop something for Canon, but for right now, those are three that are kind of producing the best quality, in my humble opinion. Not that Canon can't do it, it's just I don't have a Canon or the lenses or anything else to prove that the quality is there. The Sony AR74 is an amazing 60 megapixel camera and is putting out some amazing detail, but so is my phone, um, which is a Samsung S20. So, 
The higher the megapixels, the more polygons that you have in the output. That's how it works. Uh, it only has two buttons, a start and a stop, to make it super st simple. Okay. It's powered by one power supply that is going to barrel jack, a 24 volt, 1 amp. Um, it uses uh, stepper motor drivers the same as 3D printers. I did that for the fact that these are very cheap and inexpensive to get. All the parts are very cheap and inexpensive to get. The fact of the matter is that you are buying a link when you purchase this. The link contains code, the video, the everything you need to purchase all of it and assemble it. That allows you to build as many of these units as you want that way. Okay, and it allows me to not assemble units at home. <laughs> Alright, so that is what the 3D Scanomatic is. So if you're into photogrammetry, it's an amazing tool. If you're just getting into photogrammetry, it's a super amazing tool. If you're into 3D printing, it's almost ungodly when it comes down to the workflow of being able to scan any organic object and then 3D print it. Easy. Okay? Cool. And if you are interested, uh, my name is Jason Welsh. Search me on YouTube. Uh, type in Scanomatic or Photogrammetry Jason Welsh, and you'll see some examples of this in real time that you can kind of look at and say, oh, okay, that's what he's talking about. All right, so thank you for watching this video, and you have a good one.